Other news tonight, the statewide task force on prescription drug abuse and newborns finding, releasing its findings. A group finding out just how devastating it is when a pregnant mother gives birth while she's been hooked on prescription drugs. WTX LABC 27's Ty Wilson live for us outside of the Florida State Capitol tonight with more on those findings. Ty. Greg, good evening to you. The task force says each year in the state of Florida, there are about 1,500 babies born that are suffering health problems because their mother is using prescription drugs. The remedy, the task force says, is education, prevention, and other things as well. Well, here at the Capitol, the 15-member task force met briefly earlier today. Governor Rick Scott and the state attorney Pam Bondi and law enforcement agencies around Florida have been working hard cracking down on pill mills with the rise of people abusing prescription drugs. Bondi told me they noticed that pregnant women were also using opiates, fueling the rise in cases called neonatal abstinence syndrome. That's when a newborn suffers from withdrawal and other symptoms. The state attorney tells me she's been traveling the state to see the problem firsthand. She told me about a trip she made to a Tampa hospital. So I went down to St. Joseph's. I went in the neonatal intensive care unit and I saw um, some of these babies and it changes your life. These babies are sensitive to light, to sound, to touch. Their little incubators have to be covered because of the light. They don't cry, they shriek. And they're entering this world. Instead of getting their mother's milk, they're getting morphine or methadone. Here's the problem to deliver a healthy baby. It cost around $9,000. The task force says it can cost up to $53,000 to deliver and treat a baby addicted to prescription drugs. Medical experts say about three fourths of those women are low income, so Medicaid pays those bills. Bondi and the task force says at this time in history with money being so tight around the state, they need a remedy. They believe education, prevention and treatment are the keys. Their findings will go to the legislature as they look for funding in hopes of solving this problem. Live at the Capitol, I'm Ty Wilson, ABC 27, dedicated to you.